Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we will be going over the SLR RafaWorks Magwell and the Overwatch Precision Have Blue Magwell. These are both for the Glock, uh, the Glock family. These specifically are for the Glock 17, the 34, and the 45. Here I have my Glock uh, 45 here. It is a brand new Gen 5 Glock. And I wanted to have a, I wanted to have a, uh, I was looking at magwells and I, I saw a lot of SLR magwells on the market and a lot of videos on them. And these were new at the time when I bought them, but I could not find any videos on this one specifically. I saw one on a Glock 19, but not specifically. I did not find any one between the two. So I got both and decided to make a review. So currently the current Glock has, the Magwell is funneled, which I do like, but it does have this shelf here that I did not like and I wanted to get rid of. And so that's where the Magwells come into play. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So this SLR comes with a sticker, uh, the Magwell itself, the screw, and nothing else. The Overwatch comes in this clamshell, hard plastic packaging it does come with a tool so that is nice if you don't have one comes with a sticker of course and no instructions of course but it's kind of easy uh, nice words inside and I'm not much of a reader and here we go so physical differences here between the two I'll go ahead and say uh, of course some people aesthetics is everything right uh, the SLR rifle works it's it's black, but it's almost like a I don't want to say bead brush. It's kind of has like a very fine textured sandpaper feel. It's very matte. It's a it's a matte black uh, finish, and you know some people do like that. We'll install it here in a second. They both have the same thread size. Actually, that is a lie. They do not have the same thread size. The Overwatch they do offer this in black, but Overwatch does have a more has a more sheen to it, as you can tell. I got this one in blue, or like a, actually no, I think this might be, this is gray, sorry. I, th I got this in gray just to be different here. And we're back. The Overwatch does take a Torx bit, while the SLR takes a regular Allen wrench or hex bit. Uh, if you look on the underside, this might, this is what kinda uh, makes me lean towards the have blue, or sorry, the Overwatch, is that the rear here, the rear is chamfered over here to funnel magazines, except for the SLR has their logo. I do like that the SLR, the the chamfers, the chamfers on the uh, SLR is nice and straight, while the Overwatch is kind of radius. And it looks like it'll hang up, but I haven't had any issues. I had no hangups here. I've only been testing it at home, and I have not shot it yet. But... Uh, if weight is a matter, the Overwatch is definitely lighter than the SLR. Here, here's another, show you all some profiles here. And we'll definitely get them installed so you all can have a look here in a, in a moment. All right. So the SLR install is pretty simple. You just tuck her on in there. And boom, I won't install the screw here, but it should be easy. Definitely put a uh, blue, blue thread locker or any sort of thread locker inside your holes. Y'all can have a look here. I did, did not like this uh, lip right here that the Overwatch does not have. They definitely kind of cover that. And if you're a competition shooter and you have, you know, the crazy big extended mags, you need this because this extra hole or I'm sorry, this extra shelf here, this is like a relief cut to hold uh, the Terran tactical mags or the large blocky aluminum mags. Uh, because I don't run that, you know, I'm just going to stick to uh, this just because of the, the extra funneling on the rear end. This is what it looks like with just this mag. I don't have any Terran tactical mags or anything. Uh, there's a pro profile, and you see here that that's the relief cut up front. Is definitely there for the large uh, magazine extenders. 
And then here we go. Here's the, I did find this one was a hair tiger. This one, uh, instead of installing from the front and scooping in, I had to install from the back and scoop around and it's, there you go, it kind of snaps in. There's your profile. This one definitely has that, you see that hole here if you put on grips, but I don't put on grips, so not my issue. Yeah, see, there do, it does not have that lip here, which is great for me. Here's the profile. Overall, I like the Overwatch better, and I definitely uh, probably sell this to a buddy for the cheap. But yeah, I like this one. I might try to go find a trigger that matches this color. But I did wish, I do wish that these were kind of matte. Um, if I had to do it over again, I'd definitely get this in black, and I would get this in a matte black. But they don't have it here. Not a too big of a deal. I rather have function over uh, function over form. Here's that comparison one more time, except for. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping by.